Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're in what's called The Invincible. It's a uh, new game to me. I've never played it before, so... Let's see if we can turn down some stuff. Holy cow. Okay, now we can turn that back up. I'm going to go to about there. Hopefully that won't be too low. If it is, we'll readjust. <clears throat> As you see, everything is on Epic. <laughs> I guess that's everything. So, I've never played this. I've only seen one video ever done on it, and that's what got me to know about the game and caught my interest. So, we're going to start a new game here. Obviously, there's not one to play, so... Okay. The Dragonfly, a small research unit of the Interplanetary Commonwealth, with a crew of six, travels the distance, distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there's one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, risk at Astro Gator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely volatile vol vol material himself. Okay, anyway. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. Ouch. The astrogator accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victoria, victorious, they set course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. Wow, there's a lot of reading. <clears throat> are we actually past it? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Where am I? Uh, on my head. Barrett? Anybody? Our choices are help. Are you there, Noble Merritt? Uh, Koval Merritt. Uh, Yasna to base. Report a problem. Uh, let's see. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, Koval? Merritt? Uh, hey, this is Yasna. I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am, or how I got here. I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? Hmm. No damage to the suit or the structure. Just <clears throat> this headache.
Okay, so I'm having to figure out the controls as we're sitting here. Um, I can't hear you anymore. My receiver worked for a moment, but now there's only silence. Mm-hmm. Solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? Just like I thought. Nothing. Beacon can't be detected either. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean. With no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Okay, so anybody else confused yet? Leading to my girlfriend just uh, rose her hand, uh, right. put her hand up, saying she was confused as well. Camp. Be somewhere near. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Okay, so now we're in there. Landmarks. Well done, past me. You didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like <laughs> I need to stop doing this. So what are we doing here? What do we find your exact location? Uh, I'd say needle. And so that's what looks like it right there in front of me. A needle. I called Needle. Well, okay. So you got all three of them. Really? There's one there. That's a landmark. There's the other landmark. Brazil landmark. So we're supposed to find exactly where we're at. And I'm supposed to do this how? 
Right trigger. Okay, so there's focus. Okay, so there's a rope there. Uh, that rope. I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Okay, well, um... Closest one to us... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. We have the first one. I need one more. I would say the dog is the next closest. Something that resembles a dog. Okay, so 12 minutes in, we ain't even got our butt up off the ground yet. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. You think we're actually gonna get up off this ground? <clears throat> Where are we going? Up over there. There was a rope. Yeah, the rope's still there. Where are we going? I don't know how to pull up the. Uh... Well, we know how that works now. I don't know how to pull that up now. There we go. Now, gotcha. Now, where are we supposed to be going? Find your way to camp. Thank you. Camp is that way. And on this map. <coughs> Not the direction of fortune. Facing now towards the dog. Okay. Okay, so you have a stamina. Okay. Which seems to suck. <clears throat> Run ten feet and you're out of breath. Okay. How do we get past this problem? So we must have took a wrong turn in Albuquerque, so let's go back down and see if we can find the right way.
this being a new game, like I said, I've never played it, so no knowledge of what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm supposed to be going, how I'm supposed to be getting there. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. It's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Warm? Oh, getting warmer. Got you. I found it. Look for me on your trackers. water on this desert planet. Found a way out of the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. Well, I can't go this way. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, the only bad thing about new games is when not knowing what you're doing. <clears throat> I can only remember it's in this direction. So, I'm going this way. <sighs> Time to go. some planet such storms last for several hundred days i hope it's not one of them mm. Mm. if this area is volcanically active ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora but it's all just too idyllic there's no dust in the air the sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. Continue marching towards the camp. You know what I'm doing? Ooh, a little bit of a hiccup right there.
Now this game just came out like maybe two, three get, uh, days ago. Uh, by the time of this recording, uh, you, you seeing it anyway, it'd probably be like four days, maybe five days ago. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here yeah the escarpment is about 10 meters high it looks like I could slide down yeah if you want to die secure a rope here true but um for some reason i don't have one with me <sighs> great a rope that won't break my neck <laughs> i hope <coughs> it looks better from here. I'll be with you soon. Alright, here we go. Oh, well, that ain't good. Uh oh. Um. Okay, so what did happen? I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did did I black out again? Okay, spooky as can be, but uh, all right, we're just gonna go ahead and go on. Um, I forget all about that. How are we supposed to get over there? I'm seeing this over here. It looks more like a probable scenario. I can get up there.
That looks like a straight path, basically, and I can't see anything on it. Oh, nice. This is going to be a whole lot of fun figuring this out. How do I get up there? Do I go down to go up? Over here, anything? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Clearing up. Does look like there might be a path here after all. So to move up though, I need to continue to press the button, okay. So, old school climbing. Very hard to hear her, so I wonder if we turn down too much on the volume. Take a swallow my drink real quick. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Mm, looks like we're in a cutscene. Sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Great. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the words of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could it be because of hard radiation? Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? 
early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a record. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Koval. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Koval. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour, or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Crowther, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, If any. Mm-hmm. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Find. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. I is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot! Androbot, <laughs> guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot! Guide to people. Androbot. Locate human. Damn. I 
I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. There's somebody in there. Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Krauter is in a serious condition. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I'd test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first thing first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Krauter. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Well, not in here, so I guess that's where this comes in. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. Nope, oh, there we go. It's not a mission log. But it will do. Dr. Krauter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there?
Yeah, good luck on that one. I'll just let y'all read that. Okay. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. I wish the buttons were different. All right, now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I noticed. Before we go anywhere, I want to double check everything. Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. A relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Hmm. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Well, here we go. Another uh, flashback. <sighs> I must be on something to be having this many. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. Uh, Norbert, is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. Okay, so what we got here now? Enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. I understand how you feel, Cobble. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple longing that speaks to me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean water. Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Probe in the water and switching to manual. Distance, 100.
Okay. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen the probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. I catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Stop it! What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, I see it. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm will get up there. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Hmm, I guess you don't get up to it. Goes forward. I don't remember. Is this the one we've been in already? Got a fish in it on that one. Yeah, I think this is the one we were in. I think. Yeah, that's where he's at. things when you guess the only one left get to be gone into the extra relay.
Well, clerk's what? I was reading the book, not that. What was that? I missed it. Entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker. Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, you don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. I'm following the signal. I'm not sure if I want to step in that. Huh. There's something on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross. Okay. Measurements. These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Okay, I'll give you a minute to read this because, uh, You don't want to, you, you do not want me to read it for you. It will take forever. Okay. <sighs> the signal's coming from a cast of backpack. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. Hey, found her. Wake up. Wake up. You couldn't Do see you her from me? over there? Dr. Merrick? No. No vital Wait, functions. What's going I need on? to... Two, three, come on. One, two. Don't do this to me, Merritt. Don't do this. Please. Come on. Live, damn it. Merritt. I beg you. Come on. Mm, this ain't looking good. No. That's enough. Astrogator? She's... She's... I know. Doctor. Yes, sir. We have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine.
Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think? Cobble. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Koval? Koval? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouter's. Koval! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowder's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Yasna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. <sighs> Not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes? That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's, uh... Nothing about Dr. Gorski. them surprisingly accurate he wrote down Gorski's every step great let's get cobbled to the evacuation area can you carry him doctor <laughs> won't be pretty hard in 1g but the gravity here should make things a tad easier we got him Descending. Damn. A bad feeling. It won't break into pieces, right? The descent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. Not much on this planet. 
primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground, or where the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest. It's difficult to find a consistent pattern. All of this seems insane. Pure chaos. But I don't believe in coincidences. The greatest threat to humans is usually, well, humans. So I believe our crew members have fallen victim to the Alliance's actions. I must say, in any other situation, I'd be sure of it. Invincible, however, is not in the Lyra system yet. Their other ships have never even ventured near these regions of the galaxy. Or at least, there's no indication. Except for all these disturbing events. Right. Something doesn't add up. See you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. Shouldn't I go back for Mara's body? No. No, there's no need. I just regained control of the Androbot, so please, leave it to me. You did everything you could for a doctor. Now, Dr. Gorski needs your help. I get there. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? signal so soon it's unlikely to be him then who yeah, it's not you were correct sir it's just our probe it looks inactive can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal i'd say it's running in safe mode please try to power it on do we have time for this it's for a good reason doctor the probe could prove useful in the search and besides okay you'll see i'm opening the probe Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. interesting should i be looking for a specific location date the excavation site fourth day of the mission I, I recognize these structures this is where they began to dig twelve hours passed three crew members are still there Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost. 
lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. It happened in a matter of seconds, but there's... there's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. Hmm. That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. If it's useful, then okay. Hmm. You don't like machines, Yasna. I don't like being followed. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. see these metal structures anywhere the detector's measurement is very clear i'm going straight on no crossroads branches not yet just one thick tangled vein wow. huh. i guess
Unless I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? He followed the branch to the right. Well, if he followed it to the right, I guess that means we're going to the right. The probe detected something. description perfectly. Well done, Luna. You're useful after all. Now I think I'll apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. Seeing as how the drone is already going in this direction, kind of makes me think this is the way to go. Interesting. Hey, Luna. Now she starts humming whenever she's doing long walks. Treks. Ox treks. Water was mentioned in the note. Around the third point. And I have a matching object here. Alright. So how many are left? Uh, two points. Or at least that's what he told Kovel. What he did next? It's hard to assess. Well, the battery and the detector last for only a few hours. So he couldn't have gone much further. The fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive, on top of which he found surface structures. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. Hmm. Gotcha. I found his tracks. 
finally some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Oh, good. He's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. I think we have the fourth point. Two achievements unlocked so far. Sorry I'm not doing a lot of talking, but it's me just trying to get used to this game. I mean, not really much to say. Hopefully you all are enjoying it. Hopefully you all know more than I do. I mean, there's a dot here saying to go this direction, so I'm going to go this direction. It would probably be the wrong thing to do, but hey. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrogator. Understood. Should be getting close to whatever this next uh, stage is. Two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. <laughs> there, there. Who? I only put one person in that thing. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain. Proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Up here. Uh, I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here, something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasper. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I. I. I don't see anything like it now, sir. down the parameters. Azimuth, 350. Distance, 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. the bushes and the doctor um, hard to tell visibility is poor huh. it's gonna be harder than before I don't know how the doctor <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route there won't be a problem but you'll have to get there on your own two feet I suppose the probe will carry out the first task it's capable yes of course I set the environment analysis mode the probe will calculate the best route between your local hi Luna Lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. 
progress not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us, but not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Well, have you started to fear for your position? <laughs> Maybe they can be improved rapidly, but these are only selected modules. Algorithms. There's still a long way to go to develop an artificial brain that would even slightly reflect the complexity of the human one. Yes, we probably won't live to see that. Probably not. Besides, no intelligent machine would take this job. Shh, Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. These bushes are... kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So, they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Okay. Where's our little robot friend? And flashbacks. Landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly.
Okay, so... We're in the process of doing a mission. I have a flashback to an earlier part of the mission. So yeah, I think we're doing good. I'm going outside. Capability? 100%. The dust has already settled. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best Sir, idea given the loss wrong. of communication with... What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But... Sorry, that doesn't look like storm damage to me. What's bothering you? This... Lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. That pen was not blown there. Yet that one there and this one here are the ones that are blown. This one's not blown. Nothing else is messed up. Something's not adding up, folks. These two should not be messed up if this one and this one are fine. Hmm. That looks like it could possibly have the communications in with it. I don't know which this one is. Or maybe that's communication. I don't know. Don't look right to me. Nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Right. Thank you. Beautiful here. I have an object in sight.
Okay. I'm going to use it. I'm here. I'm focused on it. Okay, you're doing nothing. I'll report it. No worries, sir. This is where they searched the ocean's biocenosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Copy that. Heading east. This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Our curiosity's got the cat on this one. Looking at this map, I was supposed to be going east. I'm guessing I followed this path. But I should be coming from that way. I'm guessing. I'm not positive, I'm guessing. Which means technically I should have been facing this way and going to the left. Okay. feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. What is this? Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh. I feel nauseous. Suddenly. That's not it. I feel... darkness. I 
hear my heart beating really fast and hard. That's the only way to go, though. going on, sir? Astrogator? Don't think that's that. I tried to resuscitate him, but... No, please. Koval? Don't look around him. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hudson's a learning shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I'm sorry. It's on me. It, it's my fault. No, Doctor. As Commander, I take full responsibility. But it was me that left him. On my order. You're too hard on yourself, as usual. If only I... Stop breathing. Please, stop. If is a very cruel word. You don't deserve its torment. Amen on that. If, if, if. If I'd only been there, if I'd only been ahead of them, if I'd only been in charge, if I'd only done this, if I'd only done that. I confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crowther's body? I placed him in a crime chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes. I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? I have a feeling that will be in a... Report. One sec. How oh, about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. What if you sway? I can just jump off. A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that yet. He could keep going even with injuries. <sighs> All right, 
so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instruct it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. How the hell do I know? Yes, it's two meters. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. Say so. <sighs> I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. <clears throat> okay, well. We made it to here. Just a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that no, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Okay, we just got a third. <sighs> Left or right. Achievement. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, we are at a safe point, so. Next time, we'll pick up right where we left off here. Uh, matter of fact, we'll probably hear this whole story all over again. Because where we uh, hit the save point was like right here. So, yeah. Needless to say, this has been an interesting game so far, and I've enjoyed playing it. Hopefully, y'all have enjoyed watching. And hopefully, y'all will come back to see more. And if you have any comments or know of anything about the game, you want to give me hints or help me out with it, uh, feel free to go down in the comment section down below and uh, let me know. I do look forward to hearing what y'all have to say about it. And uh, if y'all like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more and you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget that bell icon to get notified when I post a video. In the meantime, though, y'all stay safe, take care, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!